Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my Sephora sale haul. I did pick up quite a few things. I had been stocking up my cart for months and I finally clicked purchase. So I'm just gonna share with you guys what I got today. I got some makeup items, some skincare, some hair care, and some fragrance. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off with two repurchases. So the first one is the Living Proof Dry Scalp Treatment from their scalp care line. This stuff is liquid gold. If you have an itchy dry scalp, if you struggle with eczema on your scalp or dandruff, I totally recommend this. Um, you use it on wet hair. I put it on my trouble spots, which is like right behind my ears, the crown of my head, and the nape of my neck, and just kind of rub it in and massage it, and it does wonders. Honestly, this worked for me after a few weeks of using it um, every time I showered, and I've used it for probably two years now. So this is like my fourth or fifth bottle. I absolutely love this stuff. Another repurchase that I couldn't live without is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This one is so good. I got this one when I was actually struggling with cystic hormonal acne and this thing helped me so much. Now that my skin is not really suffering from that, it has really just like added vibrance and like glowy elasticity to my skin. I really love it. So this one I use as a toner morning and night and in the morning, I'll just put it on with my fingers and at night I'll use a reusable cotton pad, but I really do love this stuff. It is so good and it smells like watermelon juice. It smells so good. So I absolutely love this stuff. I've actually been out of it for like three days and I've noticed my skin is already duller than it was when I was using this. So I definitely love this stuff. Okay, let's transition to fragrance because this is what I'm most excited about. And this is the Replica Perfume Sample Set. So this is the, it doesn't actually say what the set is called, but I'm so excited to try this. It has all of their most popular fragrances. It has Jazz Club, Lazy Sunday Morning, Under the Lemon Trees, By the Fireplace, Bubble Bath, Autumn Vibes, Sailing Day, Coffee Break, Beach Walk, and Springtime in Paris. So I have actually tried, I think I've tried By the Fireplace and Jazz Club before, and I've tried Coffee Break like in the store, and I really did love it. So I'm so excited to try these all. I've never smelled, let's see, Springtime in Paris. Okay, very, very floral, super bright, a little bubbly, like champagne almost, but it's definitely a floral scent. Next we have Beach Walk. Now this one's hard to describe. It's like a fresh air powder kind of scent. I feel like this might be one of those ones where you wear it for a little while and it adjusts to your body, but it's very powdery, but kind of fresh at the same time. Okay, next we have Coffee Break, which I know I love this one, and I think I want it in the full size. I definitely want a coffee um, perfume sometime soon. Oh yeah, that's glorious. It's also very warm and woody as well as like coffee. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we have Sailing Day. Wow. Oh, that one's really fun. Bright and fresh is what that one reminds me of. I'm surprised with myself how much I like that one. <laughs> okay, Autumn Vibes, which I'm pretty sure is just like your standard kind of fall fragrance, standard fall fragrance. Nothing really special, but definitely would be amazing on like a pumpkin ride or uh, a hay ride or something. Next we have Bubble Bath. I was very excited to try this one. I've heard amazing things about this. Oh my God, it actually just smells like soap. It literally just smells like a bar of soap. That is so funny. That smells good. Okay, we have By the Fireplace. I don't have to smell this one. I know it smells like burning logs, which is like fun, but I don't think it's for me. <laughs> okay, we have Under the Lemon Trees next. It's lemon. I don't know what else I was expecting. Very fresh, very lemony, and a little bit floral. Okay, Lazy Sunday Morning was also one I was very excited about. I can't get a good read on this one, but I don't think I like it. I don't know what it is. I don't like it though. Hmm. That's sad. And the last one is Jazz Club. I think I liked this one when I had it in a little mini. Woo! Now that is sophisticated. That is like a sexy date night in the fall. Oh my gosh. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm very much looking forward to 
uh, actually wearing these scents for an entire day and testing them out and seeing what I like. I know for sure that I really liked coffee break, uh, bubble baths smelling like soap. And honestly, springtime in the park wasn't bad, even though it was kind of floral. Okay, staying on the fragrance train, I'm so excited to get this one. This is the Skylar Vanilla Sky Rollerball Perfume. I'm so excited to try it. The notes on this are cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. And this packaging is just so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I love this tiny little cap. I've been dying for a new vanilla perfume for a while now, since I finished off my uh, Kaoli Vanilla 28. This smells so good. I see what they mean by cappuccino and cedar. It does have like a warm vanilla to it. That is so intoxicating. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wear this one. That is the most beautiful vanilla scent. It honestly smells like candy or like, uh, I can't remember what those candies are called, but there's some candies that are like literally just straight up sugar. Like it looks like taffy. It's the shape of taffy, but it's just straight sugar. That's what this smells like. Oh my God. I don't know, that smells so good. Okay, I guess before we go to makeup, I'll finish off the um, like skincare section. So I have this Daily Luna, the everything oil for intimate skin and everywhere else. So this is actually a little mini travel size version of their oil and I wanted to try it out because I've been just super struggling with ingrown hairs and irritated skin when I shave down there. So. I'll let you guys know how this one goes, but it has a little dropper. It's really cool looking. It says this lightweight multitasking oil helps visibly reduce redness and bumps for smooth, soft skin. So really excited to try this out. Um, you guys have given me some good um, suggestions and there's a truly, be truly beauty oil I need to try too. So just trying out all of the things and seeing what works. And then I finally got my hands on the L'Occitane uh, almond shower oil. I'm so excited to try this you guys. I tried to pick up a full size at the Ulta 21 days of beauty event and I bought it and everything and then they canceled it from my order. So I was really pissed. And then this was the only thing available on Sephora or the only size available on Sephora. So I had to get the super mini size. It is 2.5 fluid ounces. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I'm going to use this in the shower tonight. It smells so good. Okay, moving on to makeup next. I did pick up a Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 26W. Excited to try more from Rare Beauty because I've just been hearing such great things. I have their um, liquid blush. I've tried their mascara and I really loved it. So very excited to try out this tinted moisturizer and it's SPF 20, which I was looking for one for summer. I'm hoping that this will be my summer shade because right now I have a Fenty Beauty one that I'm using and it's kind of my perfect shade for now, um, but I'm hoping that this one will be a good summer shade. So this is what it looks like so far. It kind of looks like the same shade as my, of me right now. Here's me blending it into my skin. I think it's the same shade. Well, this one might have to be exchanged for a darker color, but we shall see. I'll try it out and then we'll see. But I'm actually like really surprised that I color matched myself so closely from online, so pretty impressed about that. Okay, the next thing I got is a Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, a long wear liquid eyeliner in the shade In Big Truffle. So I've been looking for the perfect brown liquid liner and it's been such a struggle. Um, I used one from a K-Beauty brand that I got at like TJ Maxx, fell in love with it and now I couldn't, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I've been on the hunt and I've tried the Milani one, that didn't work. I tried a hard candy one that didn't work. So trying this Fenty Beauty one next. I am worried though that this color is very red brown. So you can kind of see here, it's super red. I don't know if that's gonna be good, but hopefully when it dries, it'll be fine. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this, but it definitely is very like liquidy. It seems like it's easy to use. So that's good. So I'm hoping that Fenty will come to my rescue and be my saving grace brown eyeliner. Okay, last item, and it's actually a freebie that I got with my Sephora points. This is the Charlotte Tilbury award-winning Beauty Icons little trio set. It comes with a magic cream, a little foil packet of magic serum, and then the babyest uh, Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium. So here is the little baby magic cream. I'm excited to use it though. And then um, you just get a little bitty foil packet of the magic serum. 
And then, oh my gosh, this is the cutest little lipstick ever. But I swear, you guys, it is smaller than my finger. It's so small. So I'm excited to try it though because this is my um, shade. Like I wouldn't get the regular Pillow Talk. If I did get one, I would get Pillow Talk Medium. So this is what it looks like. It looks very, very pretty. Almost like what I'm wearing today, but a little darker. So I'm excited to try it, see what I think. I've always wanted to try their lipstick. So very excited to get a little Charlotte Tilbury set for free. Okay, well, I'm gonna go wipe off these swatches and probably try out most of this stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Let me know down below if you picked up anything during the Sephora sale. What did you get? I am so happy to repurchase my favorites and try out some new things. So yeah, that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.